Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is what you've all been waiting for, or maybe not been waiting for, I don't know. This is the Verni X versus the Ucatel K6 comparison. I'm gonna be comparing the specs, the build quality, I'm gonna be installing some apps, so the speed test in that respect, the camera. Also, when we're running through this video, obviously both phones are starting at 100% battery capacity, and then at the end, we'll see which has reduced the most. And hopefully I should cover most aspects on these phones. So to start off, we have the Verni X here and the Ucatel K6. Let's try boot up process and speed. Hopefully I can time this right. Yep. Both phones are very, very identical in terms of specifications. They both have the Helio P23 processor, the new chip. They've both got six gigabytes of RAM as well. Verni X is there. Uh, K6, just a couple of seconds after. But fully booted, I'll probably they're about the same. So, good start to the test. So, just so you can see here, guys, K6 has a 100% battery, and so does the Verni X. And at the end of this video, we'll see how much battery is left. Now, a lot of the specs between these two phones are very similar, but when it comes to the camera, it is slightly different. The Verni X has the Sony sensor IMX258, where the K6 has the Samsung sensor S5K3P3SX. A uh, bit of an odd name, but they have two different sensors. The Verni X has a dual rear camera with 16 megapixel, and also has a dual front camera, 13 megapixel. Jump over to the K6, slightly better rear camera, it's dual rear camera, 21 megapixel, and front facing camera is 13 megapixel, again, dual, again. But if you see my review on the K6, one of the front cameras is a dummy. And in price, it's about 20 quid difference. Verni X is currently 188, and the K6 is currently 203 pound. In my honest opinion, before I show you all these uh, video shots and pictures, I think the K6 is slightly better. Verni X, I've noticed, does struggle to um, autofocus at times, and you have to keep touching the screen. Um, but I'm going to show you some pictures and videos now, guys, and let me know your thoughts. Both autofocus is working. So I'm in my studio at the moment, or my office, with artificial lighting because it's quite dull outside. To turn this off. So this is natural light at the moment. So tell me which ones you prefer, guys. Both seem to autofocus pretty well. And they're playing football. Both cameras seem to produce similar colours, although I think the K6 might be a little bit more vibrant, a bit more a, rich, uh, a richer green colour. Cool. Me in the mirror. Dark room in here. So, obviously there is a bit of noise coming in here now. Both are still focusing okay. K6 seems to be a little bit more brighter. What are you, what are you lot doing, you alright? Yeah, I'm just testing the cameras. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a bit Are wet you? outside. Yeah, it's it's okay, guys, so that is the indoor test on both phones in video mode. There's probably not much point in testing the front facing video on both of these phones um, because of the audio sync issues we have. So what I'm saying now is not matching up to uh, my lips. But I'll show you in terms of just video quality and light. The Verni X is recording in 480p, whereas the K6 records in 720p. So K6 has got a little advantage there, I'd say. Um, and the quality looks pretty decent as well. But the audio is out of sync. So let me just take you here. I'm in front of a window at the moment. And we're back into the office. Let's go in a dark room, shall we? Okay, so it's raining a little bit out here. Both looking good on autofocus. Verni X is looking a little more vibrant. get close to that I prefer the K6 on that one on that bit Vernie X is struggling to focus there touch focus Vernie X struggles with focusing and I have a football the brick wall Again, the Verniax is struggling to focus. Touch focus works. Let's have a look at this. K6 looks a lot natural in terms of colour. The Verniax is not looking too natural at all there. I think the K6 does have the better camera. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah. So a combination of front and rear facing footage there. Again, both front facing video cameras, you have that out of sync audio, which is pretty terrible, if I'm being honest. Hopefully both phones will release an update to rectify that. But that is the camera war out of the way. Let's jump on to the next. Okay, so we're gonna jump onto the thickness of the phone. The Verni X, just on the left hand side here has a thickness of 9.8 mil and to the right the K6 is 10.4 mil and you can even see uh, the difference there with the K6 it is quite a bit thicker both you can see down here at the bottom have USB type C which both support fast charging and batteries take around a couple of hours to get to full charge there is not much in it at all in terms of height and width on these smartphones the Verni X is slightly taller with 15.95 centimeters compared to the 15.87 centimeters on the K6. But then the K6 is slightly wider, 7.64 centimeters as opposed to 7.6. Not much in it at all. The frame and the body on the phone on the Verni X is full metal. And the K6, the body and the frame is also full metal as well very very similar now we come to the back of the phones both of these phones are actually plastic backs uh, it did take me a while to actually confirm this information as there was rumors the verni had a metal back but they both have a plastic back uctel have gone for the glossy sort of finish where the verni x has a fantastic beautiful matte finish as well both of them are really nice finishes it just depends 
on what you are more fond of and more used to. Me, I prefer holding the Verni X. It does feel a little bit better in the hand. Both of these smartphones have absolutely excellent screens and the specifications are pretty much identical. Both are six inch screens, 2160 by 1080p and with a screen ratio of 18 by nine. None of them are Gorilla Glass and none of them have either got scratches or marks on them. So whatever they're using, it's still quite hard wearing. The K6 does go slightly brighter, but then sometimes some icons can look slightly a little overexposed in, in my opinion. I personally prefer the Verni X display, but there isn't much difference. A closer look at the Verni X display. It is a beauty. Bring the K6 forward as well. They're all both on full brightness as well. But they're both great screens. So both of these phones are running Android 7.1.1. They're both running the Helio P23 CPU and they're both clocked at two gigahertz. These specifications have actually pulled out of the device info app on both of the phones. They both have six gigabytes of RAM. The Verni X has one to eight gigabytes of ROM, where the K6 has 64. Verni X has a 6,200 milliamp battery and the K6 has 6,300. And then they have the identical Mali G71 graphical processing unit and that goes up to 700 megahertz in clock speed. There's not much in it. Ucatel do have NFC, uh, but they do have a problem with the Android Pay app. That app doesn't actually work on this phone at the moment. I'm expecting Ucatel to release an update. So let's look at the battery. Obviously the K6 has a slightly bigger battery and it probably does show on these screenshots here. The Verni X, I got 11 hours and seven minutes screen on time. Whereas the K6, I got 12 hours and one minute. If you compare these screenshots as well, look at the screen, both 46%. On the Verni X, I still had one hour and 43 minutes left with 4%. As, and the K6 I had 22 minutes left and that was at 1%. So that extra one hour 43, the screen on time would probably be a lot closer than the 11 hours and seven that I've got on the Verni X. Maybe nearer to the 12 hours on the K6. But either way, both phones have brilliant battery. And currently the K6 is 86% and the Verni X is 87%. The Verni X is just ahead in battery life at the minute. Okay, let's start the speed and operation test. I'm going to be opening both apps on both phones, see if one responds quicker. Let's just double check. No items are open at the moment. First, I'm going to start with speed test app, and I'm going to run a speed test on the Wi-Fi after that as well. Oh, that was close. I think the K6 just nip that so this is on wi-fi let's begin the test broadband home here is seven meg down and one meg up uh, sometimes my broadband here is terrible i don't know how accurate it is with both running at the same time okay so we've got three down and half a meg up now we're not at full strength either on the wi-fi about half strength. So I am upstairs a couple of floors away. I'm not too concerned about those speeds from here. Let's open up device info. Oh, K6 slightly there. Spotify, though I'm not registered yet. Oh. Verni X a little bit, I think there. Let's open, let's turn GPS on. GPS is on, let's turn the GPS test on. Pretty bang on accurate. Let's see how many satellites we get here. So we have a 3D fix on both smartphones. 
The K6 has an accuracy of, oh, it keeps changing, 7 foot now. X, Fernie X is 8 foot. It's about on par. Oh, 13 satellites in use on the K6, on oh, 13 on the Vernie X. Look at that. Okay, there's about on par with GPS signal. And the app opened up more or less exactly the same time on both. Great. Okay, let's open up YouTube. K6 just by a whisker. Let's open up the camera app. K6 just settings. They're both fast. They are both fast. Play Store. Bang on. Bang on. That's top of the charts. Let's install an app. Oh, the K6 is struggling there. Okay. Let's install Pinterest. There it goes. Oh, neck and neck. Oh, the Verney X just by a whisker. Okay, cool. Okay, as you can see, it is an absolute tight one to call. Verney X won some and the K6, and that's what I expected really with the same different, you know. With similar hardware and specs, there's not going to be much in it at all. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open Asphalt Extreme and record footage on both phones and layer it over the top of each other so you can sort of um, maybe spot any differences in gaming. So first of all, let's open the app, which boots up faster. Hopefully, network connectivity is fine. Yeah, both in at the same time. Okay, so both phones support Face ID Unlock. To activate it, you do need to turn the display on, so I'm gonna do that on both in a moment and see which phone unlocks faster by me looking into the front-facing cameras. Okay, here it goes. Oh, Verni X. Let's do a best of three. There we go. Verni X again. So let's do the last one. Anyway, yeah, Verni X, much quicker at face ID unlock. Okay guys, so this is the end of the comparison video. Really hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. If we have a look at the latest battery stats, the K6 is at 83 and the Verni X is at 84. 
not much in it at all. I'm going to pick a winner purely on purely on design and the way it feels in my hand, and that is the Verni X. I find the K6 slightly chunkier and doesn't feel as good in the hand as the, the Verni X does. And um, I love the back of the Verni X, that matte finish. This is a nice finish as well, but this just wins it for me. Slightly slimmer, feels better in the hand. I do prefer the screen on the Verni X as well. But as you've just seen, performance-wise, there's nothing really separating them at all. Battery life, again, is bang on point. Camera, K6 probably just edges the camera as well. But there's absolutely not much in it at all. And the Verni X is cheaper, so I'll let you guys decide. I'm really interested to see your thoughts and which one you prefer in the comments down below. But if you've enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.